In four El Paso School District Police Department employees have been arrested in the span of five months. Among the four are police officers and a dispatcher with the department. KFOX 14 News at 5's Julia Spencer live in the studio tonight to break down each of these arrests and the concerns that parents now have. Julia. Well, take a look at this from June to October. We have not seen we have seen not one, two or three, but four employees with EPISD's police department who have been arrested for several different charges. Now, looking at this timeline here right behind me, the first two arrests happened in June. The third third happened in August and the fourth almost just a week ago. Now it's raising some questions and concerns with parents about the type of integrity surrounding their children like four months and all these things have happened and no one's being held accountable like who's no real who's really in charge four employees working for episd's police department were arrested police officer steve romero and sergeant john solis both arrested june 21st episd police dispatcher yvette Vallere was arrested on august 9th and police officer joseph shreve arrested on october 17th as a parent it's it's very alarming because uh, with full trust, we, we have that sense of trust that our police officers are going to do the right thing. Starting with the most recent arrest, Officer Joseph Shreve was arrested this past Thursday for an incident that happened on September 18th. He was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, accused of chasing after a truck that cut him off and shooting at the other driver in Far East El Paso. How are they going to protect our children if they can't do what they're supposed to do? Dispatcher Yvette Vallera was arrested in August and charged with abuse of official capacity and breach of computer security. She is accused of sending photos of EPISD security footage and warning another officer of authorities searching for his arrest. I have that full trust that I, as soon as I dial them, it's going to be okay, but not when they're targeting each other. Lastly, officers Steve Romero and John Solis were both arrested on June 21st for official oppression and tampering with evidence. Both are accused of trying to falsely commit crimes on another fellow officer and try to get the EPISD police chief fired. I don't understand um, why, there's, why is there so much corruption, for one, and um, it would, I would hope that they would really be looking into this and really thinking about you know, what really needs to happen, and it has to come from the top down. I attempted to contact the school district about who exactly oversees EPISD's police department for these issues, and whether or not this could trigger an investigation. However, I'm still waiting on their response. I hope people will be held accountable, and something would happen. There has to be consequences. Now, it's also important to note that Officer Steve Romero and Sergeant John Solis and Dispatcher Yvette Valle are no longer listed on the EPISD's employee directory. However, Officer Joseph, uh, Joseph Shrev is, still is on that directory. But for now, I'm live in the studio. Julia Spencer, KFOX 14 News at 5.